Let's look at this example. At first glance, it looks like a sine function, so let's approach it from the perspective of sine. Start off, as always, by getting the maximum and the minimum values. My maximum value is 2. My minimum value is negative 8. So my a value is going to be max minus min over 2, which works out to be 5. My C value, my axis of symmetry, works out to be max plus min divided by 2, which works out to be negative 3. So I go ahead and I draw in my axis of symmetry. From there, I can see that since the curve meets the axis of symmetry right on the y-axis, that tells me that this is this, if I look at this from a sine perspective, I have no D value. I have a zero D value. There is no phase shift for sine. And if I look at that for the period, the period works out to be 1400 degrees. So period is 1400 degrees. My K value is 360 divided by 1440, which is one quarter. So since there is no phase shift for sine, my sine function will just be f at x equals 5 sine 1 quarter x minus 3. If I wanted to do cosine, cosine starts at a maximum. The maximum is a quarter period to the right of where the sine starts. So a quarter period from where the sine starts is 360 degrees. So my phase shift will be 360 to the right which works out to be 5 cosine 1 quarter x minus 360 minus 3. 